Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am back with another haul video. So this time around I have some items from eBay, uh, the Thursday flea marketplace that I go to. And then I also went to Savers, which I have not been to Savers in a while because I have really bad luck there. But Barb just went, Erin's sister, she just went and got, got like a cookie jar and I can't remember who it was or what the maker is, but it was around, I don't know, it was under $8 and it's worth $50. So I was like, darn it. But um, our savers is very expensive and it tends to be that they're really super expensive and then the Goodwill down the street is really cheap. So I always just go to the Goodwill. But I wanted to go in, so I actually found a couple things from that savers that I think is gonna be really good for me. So. I actually want to save that for just a minute, but we'll start with the Thursday flea market pl place that I go to. So I was able to get a few things. I actually got this really cool paperweight here. It's this glass paperweight with the orange flower inside of it. These do really well. I mean, they sell for about $20 usually, uh, one like this. It just depends on the maker and it depends on how much intricacy is in the design itself like what it is, if it's like a Millie Fiore or Murano, but this was $4. So, you know, it's a decent price. I think for $4, I'll put this in the booth for maybe about 15. But like I said, online, if I was to put this in my uh, shop on Etsy, it'd probably go for about 20 with free shipping. And it's lightweight enough to still be under first class. So the shipping would only be about $5. So $15 item here I paid for. It's not the best thing, but uh, it's just a good booth filler, just another item that I think will do pretty well in the booth. Also at the flea marketplace, I got this really cool Isomat ice crusher. I've bought these in the past, and actually I don't know why I bought this because I have one of these in my booth right now. It's not the same form, exactly, but it's an ice, it's an ice crusher, and they just don't sell. I mean, I paid $3 for it. For me, this is super cool. Like have a vintage kitchen, put that on a counter. It's so cool. And the chrome is in great shape, as you can see, very shiny. But you have the grinding wheel in there. You throw your ice cubes in and turn and turn it. Uh, and then there is a box that comes out to get your shaved ice. It's just really cool. Online, they also don't sell for a whole lot. And I think the hindrance of putting this online would probably be the shipping. It's not the light, it's not the most lightweight thing. So online, it probably goes for about 15, 20 bucks. Um, but the shipping on that's really gonna make it an issue to, to sell. So I have sold one of these in the past online. It was a really long time ago. It's just for me, not worth it. Um, there's also this adapter or uh, mounting hardware here. If you were to wanna mount this to a cabinet or something in your kitchen. But uh, I don't know, I, I was thinking more so with the 50s booth that I'm gonna be doing that that would look really cool in there. It's just that the other one hasn't sold. So maybe I'll put the two together and they might sell now that there's two of them. I know that makes no sense, but <laughs> whatever. Ah. Okay, so, oh, the last thing that I got is this really interesting blanket here. It was a dollar at the flea market. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really open it up to look at it to make sure that it was in great shape. I just sort of, was like, I really like the color, it's unique. And um, I got it home, opened it up, and I found that there was like some, uh, not tears, but just wear in the fabric. Let's see if I can find what I'm talking about. Holes, there's a couple holes in here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that. They're, they're just sort of right through here. Yeah, it's just where I may, maybe things were snagged. So I think this is gonna be, ended up, it'll end up going in the booth as well. Now I haven't really, sold a lot of afghans and well this is an afghan but like a throw blankets and things like that in the booth we'll see i would like to get ten dollars out of it i think that that's possible i know online something like this if it was in great shape <coughs> hey <coughs> stella <coughs>
Stella. Okay. Online, this would probably go for about $50. So, yeah, it just depends on the, the condition. And that's just something that, you know, you sometimes run into. So I picked it up for a dollar. Not a huge deal at all. It's just, we'll make it happen, Captain. We'll make it happen. All right. This is probably the star of the haul, one of the stars. And it's so funny, I did not realize what this was until I got it home, that it's a cat. Okay. Oh. Stella, hey! Get down. There are rabbits in the yard, and the dog is going crazy. So this is an old Staffordshire Ware England sculpture figurine thing. And this was at Savers. Surprising to find it. It was $3.99. So a pretty good price. There's the mark on the bottom. And it's in great shape. So I do have a Worth Point subscription. And there's a separate video on this if you're interested. So I was able to find out because there are none of these listed. There are none of these sold. And I was able to find out through Worth Point that this sells very easily for $45. So I will consider what I'm going to put a price tag on it for. I might go 45 just to, well, 45 plus shipping. So um, yeah, it's just really unique. And I don't ever see the cats of these. So that's probably one of the reasons why they are desirable. So that's really cool. And yeah, it's like a mid-century type item. It has this gold um, stuff on it. So yeah, really indicative of the mid-century era. All right, the other thing that I got from savers the only other thing is this really neat false graph in the Yorktown Yorktown what's this called well it's really cool and it's a butter dish and it is in it's in really great shape I did pay four dollars for it three ninety nine all right yeah this is savers <laughs> they want to make some money so $3.99 for this. I think that I can flip this in the booth for about $15. Online, not so lucky. No, online probably about $10, $12, but I'll make a little bit more in the booth because I think locally this is a pretty popular pattern. A lot of people have it. I do have some Yorktown things in the booth already. I'll just set this right next to it. And historically, butter dishes are great things to pick up in pretty much any pattern because it's one of the first things to break. It's just a couple pieces, falls, it breaks. That's the reason, you know, you're gonna use it daily almost. So, had to grab that from Savers. I think that'll be really good for me. Uh, so yeah, $4 into 15. Again, we're not talking big money here, but it's just these little things that add up in the end. All right, the last thing that I got actually is probably for me. <sighs> okay, so this was on eBay. This is the Franciscus, you, you, I mean, you, you can't not know what this is at this point. This is Franciscan Ivy, if you're not following along in all my videos. This is the pattern that was used for about six seasons of I Love Lucy. There are technically nine seasons if you want to count the seasons seven, eight, nine that were hour-long specials. I don't really count those, but you can if you like. So... From the beginning of the show all the way till they move out to the country and they have the country house, they use this pattern, Franciscan Ivy. It debuted in about 1948, California, and it's just a really great, I love this pattern. So I have a lot of the different pieces. Anyway, long story short, hopefully we can make it there. This is the water pitcher and it's really cool. Actually, that's wrong. It's, it's, I don't know if it's a water pitcher or not. I always get these confused, but it has this cool little top on it. It's not a teapot. It's not a, you know what? I think it's a coffee pot. Well, I don't know if it's a coffee pot or not though. So I had the same picture in my Etsy store and it sold for, oh, was it $95, $95 with free shipping. So I sold it and it was exactly the same. $95 with free shipping. I bought this one on eBay for $45 with free shipping. So right place, right time sort of thing. So yeah, I was sort of regretting the fact that I sold the one that I had. What are you gonna do though? So I wanted to buy this one, but now I'm like, well, why do I need this? This is the problem I have all the time. It's like, 
I really want it emotionally. I get it. And then I'm like, well, now what am I going to do with it? So, I mean, I, I sort of see myself using this like in the summer, putting like water in it. I would like to put tea in it, like iced tea, but it's not big enough. I like to make a big batch of tea just to make it worth my time. <laughs> but um, yeah, boiling water is very difficult. So, I don't know. I just, I wish that this was a bigger thing. So, yeah, probably water. And like in the summer, we'd have the filtered water in the tap and it's helpful and nice to have it cold already. So this would probably good, be, be a good thing for that. Um, yeah, I don't know, I have to think about it. <laughs> but that's kind of the haul. Now I will say, I have a giant haul coming up. Next, well, tomorrow, tomorrow, there's gonna be an amazing haul video. I went to an, an where did I go? To a estate sale. I went to an estate sale and it was a family ran one. Oh gosh, those are the best ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.